Today, when everything is busy and loud, silence is often seen as a confront, a smothering void that makes us feel tense, and when we feel insecure, we often rush to fill that empty space to escape the pain it brings. But from the point of view of Stoicism, silence isn't just a way to, it's a strong way to keep secrets or stay out of trouble. I once heard a civil case about people trying to find peace of mind and mental power. A lawyer talks about how he keeps quiet in court when a witness seems to have something to say. After they finished speaking, he purposely stays quiet for a short time to create a tense situation. This environment of silence often makes the witness want to keep talking. Making mistakes, this shows that quiet isn't just a whole. It's a strong force. To remember that you don't have to talk all the time to face and fully understand the power of words and silence. Epicus taught us to mostly be quiet. Don't talk unless you have to, and only quickly between each word. Of calm we keep, we not only show that we respect other people, but also respect for ourselves, knowledge of ourselves and the world around us, and a deep understanding of these things. So, are you ready to learn more about the power of silence? Let's go on this trip, together, going over important cases where silence isn't just an, not a choice, but a necessary need before we go on stress. How important it is to watch the whole video without skipping any parts. Lessons for each of the points made will help you gain useful ideas and lessons on how important silence is in life. The first lesson is about how to handle anger, anger. We've all had times when our hearts sank with rage. Point. It could be during a tense moment with a co-worker as we try to find common ground on a project in the discovery of a relationship ending or the powerlessness we feel when our child dies. Ignoring what we say, this anger often comes in. Suddenly, like a storm rising from the depths to wipe out all reason and don't let sorrow and pain follow you. That's when Stoicism comes in handy. A lighthouse that shows us how to deal with these strong feelings, not just with being logical, but also having a compassionate heart when anger starts to rise. We should all remember the story of Seneca, a Stoic sage who was betrayed by a friend in, instead of letting his anger get the best of him, Sebastian thought about and knew that anger that isn't controlled is often more the way he decided to handle the situation was more harmful to us than the injury it caused, because they understand and care that each of us is fighting. Having to deal with our own anger is the first step, is to name it and accept it with clarity. This doesn't mean hiding or not ignoring your feelings, but realizing and accepting that they are a part of you. Next, look at the de-rooted parts of the human experience. What makes you feel this way? Is it a sense of helplessness in a situation you can't change? Frustration from not meeting standards once we know what caused it? Use stoic reasoning to get a more objective view of the situation. Remember that anger usually doesn't solve anything, doesn't fix the problem and might make it worse. Ask yourself how you can change this feeling into a good deed or a useful lesson. Finally, think about changing. Turn your anger into a drive to improve yourself and your relationships with others, like if you're mad at a co-worker over a mistake, don't get back at them. You could talk about the problem and make it clear, which would make the relationship better. Stoicism in the workplace not only helps us control our anger, but it also teaches us to turn it into a chance to grow as a person and gain a better understanding of we find mental peace when we understand ourselves and others and get along better with the people and things around us. Practice handling angry if you agree. Lesson number two. When you're, when faced with unfairness, when you're dealing with injustice, it's not. Not only a test of justice, but also a lesson in how strong the spirit. Stoic philosophy teaches us not only how to handle our feelings, but also also how to find peace within yourself.
when life is hard. Stike philosophy says that silence is, it's not about giving up or agreeing to something without a reason. Instead, it's seen as a strong choice is a way to deal with and get rid of injustice without losing who we are. Tranquility. Let's look at an example. You're an experienced worker. You work hard for your company, but one day you find out that a less inexperienced co-worker was promoted instead of you, which makes you feel like injustice has been done. When your self-esteem is hurt, you shouldn't respond by, you pick a different way to show anger or sadness. Path you take time to think about what's going on, reevaluate your worth, and what you really want in your job, you can't let bad feelings get in the way. That's why you chose to use this time as a chance for personal growth instead. Focus on getting better at what you do and learning more. Instead of taking a step back and letting our bad feelings build up through this example, we see that being quiet and in charge keeps us from hurting others or ourselves with harsh words, but we also have the chance to find our inner strength. Silence isn't just a way to protect yourself, it's also a way to find the right thing to do. A successful way to deal with problems. In times of injustice, silence helps us get in touch with ourselves and the depth of, of our beliefs, which serves as a strong base for Marcus Aurelius said that the best way to deal with anger is, instead of getting angry or upset, they chose to be quiet. Being quiet helps us stay in charge and see the bright side of life in the bigger picture. This helps us deal with any problem that comes up with serenity and also makes with the power of silence, we are stronger and more able to handle anything. We can handle any problem that life brings our way. It's not just about accepting it, about how to turn them into chances and events for stoic thought gives people hope and encouragement for growth. Offers to help us get stronger and more independent in third life lesson, how to get through a storm, getting through the storm of insults. This is rude. Before we start lesson three, let's listen to a story about Cato, a well-known Stoic thinker, and Cato, a politician, was known for always sticking to his morals. Even though his friends made fun of him and looked down on him, he stayed. Steady and always true to his beliefs without his life shows how Stoics think that real power comes from not giving up lies within our ideas, not in outside sources, of course. Our lives do go through big and small storms all the time. The flood of hurtful words makes things very hard. But in Stoic thought, we learn that silence and persistence are the best ways to deal with problems, can first protect you well from those storms. Accepting that people are different is a good place to start, but Stoics are not. Because they are superstitious, they don't just act like they don't care about comments. They know that other people's ideas are just their own, and they can't change yours. Value this way. They focus on being in charge of the things they can change, instead of what they can't. Stoics also practice keeping their feelings in check. Every day they don't let the storm of insults carry them away. When they don't feel things like anger or hurt, they keep their spirit quiet, clear of every problem and ready to face it with patience and controlling your feelings is a sign of strength, but it's not the most important thing. Stoics look at things clearly and see insults as a, it's a normal part of life and it's not worth losing control over. Instead of getting angry when they are hurt, they keep their minds clear and choose the right thing. Stoic philosophy is the best way to make choices and deal with problems. Instead of getting back at people, teach us about empathy and patience. Instead of words or deeds, they may choose to be quiet, or a kind word to keep disagreements from getting worse and encourage more positive behavior. In short, communication is not about getting through the storm of insults, not just about avoiding things, but also about learning and practicing patience. Only by learning Stoicism 
can you gain patience and wisdom? Philosophy. How can we live a happy and calm life even when things get tough? Case study number four, dealing with the gossip in real life. No one can avoid being taking care of the rumors being criticized unfairly or having stories spread about them that aren't true. To be exact, what matters is not that we face these problems, but how we deal with them. Face them and beat them with the Stoic philosophies, the spirit of self-control and patience gives us a way to get through it. These problems with strength and calm during these times, when people hear false stories, they should be patient and calm instead of getting angry or panicking. Use your mind to look at the situation calmly and decide what to do. It's clear that staying quiet can be a strong and smart move instead of speaking up. To protect your honor, keep quiet and wait. Time and the truth will show you what to do. If you have any doubts or suspicions, look beyond and understand that sitting still is a sign of strength, not weakness. Self-control. Sometimes the best way to protect yourself is to keep quiet. Eventually keep your cool and remember that being patient is what makes you strong, not getting angry or upset. And the ability to keep quiet and stay calm when faced with problems and knowledge, but don't get the wrong idea. You can choose to be quiet and let time pass. You can react or you can take a smarter route. Let's say you're working in a big organization, a place where information and stories can spread quickly. One day you hear a story that you were promoted out of the blue because made to hurt your boss's feelings. This story shocks and confuses you, but it also gives you a chance to use stoic theory in your daily life. You choose to be cool instead of getting mad or worried. With confidence, the first thing you do is face this information head on. Instead of denying or avoiding it, you meet with your boss to have an honest talk with you to clear up any clear things up. By doing this, you not only show that you can be trusted and are honest, but also never lose faith in yourself or the worth you bring to the organization that has to deal with rumors is not only a personal problem, but also a chance to become more patient and confident by using stoic philosophy that says you can get through anything and get better in the process. Have you ever been the target of fake rumors? If so, how did you handle it? We'd love to hear your stories and share them in the comments part of this post. Lesson 5 from the video How to deal with criticism When being unfairly criticized when someone criticizes you wrongly, your first thought might be to, in Epictetus, he talked about how to protect yourself. New plan. If someone tells you that someone bad things about you, don't believe them. Explain what was said about you, but say that he didn't know about my other. If he didn't think these were his only mistakes, he wouldn't have brought them up. This is a deep lesson in being self-aware and having self-control when being criticized when things are unfair is a fact of life for people who have to deal with unrealistic. When someone criticizes them, the first thing a Stoic does is hold their tongue. Marcus Aurelius once said, don't react quickly, listen and find the truth. Are in charge of your thoughts, not outside events. Understand this, and you will strength. Self-control shows that you are strong, but it also shows that you are basic trait that sets a respectable person apart from a completely Stoics, don't lack the respect to accept the truth, but they do. They don't argue with truth, even if it may be unfair. Instead, they accept that understanding is the key to mental freedom. However, they don't accept agreement with injustice, but a recognition that there is something bigger than them. Controlling your quiet is a sign of strength when you can't defend yourself. When you need to get something done, silence is a great tool. Control, and the only way to keep injustice from getting worse, is never-ending argument. Trust in silence. 
Silence is not a sign of a stoic nose that strength is. Not a sign of weakness, but of confidence. Not only being able to say what you think, but also being able to hold back and choose wisely what to do. Say in a world full of unfair and unjust stoic thought, stands out as a way to be strong and in charge of yourself. Accepting the truth, using the power of silence, and having faith in, not only do we live a moral and patient life, but we also serve as a, a light in other people's lives that gives them hope and faith in a rough world world. Before we start Lesson 6, I'd like to say my thank you and good job on making it halfway through today's video. The fact that you're here shows that you're ready for this journey. So let's turn our attention to the last five lessons of keeping quiet while we work to improve. We learned lesson number six when we dealt with how to deal with loss. Life is full of losses and they often make people feel very sad. Difficult times and loss come in many ways, whether it's the loss of a loved one, the loss of a job, or the it's impossible to avoid feeling empty when we lose something we care about. Journey is a storm that can make us feel lost and helpless, constant waves of depression when we're losing a lot. The most important thing is to accept and know that everything is. Short-term life is like traveling through a rough sea with big waves. Storms. We can't change everything, but we can change how we... This is the power of positive thought and patience that Stoicism lacks. Shows us that learning how to separate is the most important thing we need to remember ourselves from changes in the outside world. The calmness and mind peace not only helps us get through hard times, but it is also training your mind is the key to happiness and peace in your life. With patience, we can deal with any problem head on. Stoicism is not about trying to become numb or avoid feeling anything though. It's about letting all of your feelings happen freely and keeping them in check in a healthy way. We can love every moment of our lives, whether they are happy or sad. Sad that in the end, as we face and beat challenges, we become stronger and more capable of. As we help others through their own losses, we learn to value life and love. All around us, this is the biggest reason why we want to keep growing and becoming being our best selves. So if you're ready to face say something about loss, I pick strength, I pick growth, and let's go. Moving on to lesson number seven, the calm silence in the Stoic. Silence in the middle of big talk boasts that life is always giving us problems we have to solve every day. Self-control is often the key to getting through these problems. Stoic thought says that keeping quiet is not only a sign of mental peace, but also a way to show that you are patient and fully understand. Getting praise shouldn't make you feel bad about yourself or the world around you. Do not let arrogance and complacency take over your life. Instead, look at these comments with their own minds and not let rumors or the opinions of others affect them. Other people in silence, you will feel stronger knowing that our sense of self-worth does not rely on attention or acclaim from outside sources, but on being in tune with. One of the hardest things we have to do is deal with ourselves and what is right. When you stay quiet in the middle of praise and comfort, you might be tempted to ego in a culture where self-promotion and praise are normal favored. Not taking part in this race can cause stress and feelings of instability, but mental and physical independence are seen as very important, valuable traits. Staying quiet in the face of praise and comfort is a sign of strength and depth of thought. Finally, keeping quiet between praise and complacency is not only a sign of self-control and a way to make room for spiritual and peaceful thoughts inside today, people are often lazy and cocky, so freedom is important. In Stoic thought, praised silence is seen as a sign of strength. Self-control lesson 8. How to get through the seas of ignorance with how to cross the seas of ignorance with Stoic grace. Grace who is calm 
in the journey of life. Cross the huge unknown seas of danger, where the waves of mystery and uncertainty are always ready to test our being resilient in the face of these problems, isn't just a fight with outside problems, it's also a journey of self-discovery and self-conquest. During those tough times, Stoic philosophy is like a light that shines through the darkness and shows us the way. Deal with uncertainty by being patient and making a choice in the middle of a huge ocean of doubt and feeling lost is, but Stoicism tells us that not knowing isn't just a short-term thing, state, but also the core of life, understanding that we can't know what will happen. There is nothing wrong with anything, and it even makes discovery learning possible. When you face doubt, you don't have to give up or be afraid. You have to stand tall. Being firm and caring like this takes bravery. Having patience and being open to change are also important. Also, when you don't know something, silence is not a sign of not a sign of weakness, but of power and confidence. Staying quiet helps us. Being able to control ourselves makes us more self-reflective, and being aware of our own and other people's feelings helps us act in a sensible way. Deeply and deeply with the spirit of Stoicism, we not only get through the difficulties of the unknown and grow stronger and more. It's not just a journey, it's a deep understanding of what it means to be human, life and being, so please share this movie and like it. If you see the strength, depth and peace in yourself in life. Lesson number nine, how to be calm and quiet when things don't make sense. The stoic art of staying quiet when there are false rumors. Rumors say that quiet isn't just not speaking. It's also a smart choice and a way for, for us to look deeply into our own selves and really understand the, from a calm point of view, the vast universe around us is like the noise of false information. Quiet is not a sign of feeling helpless, is also a sign of hidden power. Decisiveness, when we choose to be quiet, we don't just give ourselves time to think and analysis of what's going on in insight, but we also make the walls stronger. Keeping our minds and souls safe from outside disturbances in that silence, we don't respond quickly to criticism that isn't based on facts. We don't believe rumors or let our feelings or questions get the best of us. Instead, we keep our honor. And ethics in the light of Stoicism, being quiet doesn't mean no or not defeat, but a sign of certainty, and with patience and quiet, we find freedom and inner strength that help us face and get through any problem with persistence. People who follow Stoicism know that silence is more than just not saying anything. Words, but also a sign of how strong and determined you are in in that silence. They find the strength to say no to things that aren't true. To protect their morals, they don't let false information change what they believe. Self-confidence instead sees silence as a way to keep harm away. The mind and soul from bad outside forces in silence, we find not only peace, but also the strength to keep our cool and stand up for what's right. And truth, this is when we really understand what silence means, not as an, this is not a sign of weakness, but of mental strength and clear thought lesson. Number 10 is accepting, accepting silence when things are not certain. When there is a lot of confusion in the world today, people keep quiet. Trouble and confusion are always a part of life, especially when you're facing problems and not sure what to do. Sometimes being quiet isn't just an option, it's an art form and a beautiful way to say something. And the Stoic philosophy in a world where everything, information and thought seems to float in a sea of fire and silence becomes a powerful weapon. Weapon instead of reacting quickly or strongly to every flicker of, if you're not sure whether something is light or shadow, choose to be quiet. Being confusing means that everything is not clear and is hard to understand. Calm, except that silence is a part of us and gives us mental energy. 
patience when making tough choices or dealing with changes you didn't expect. Accepting quiet when you don't know what to do is not only a smart thing to do, approach it. It's also a spiritual sign of freedom and wisdom, but to really understand and use silence in the face of there's a chance that we need to train ourselves and practice self-control and not letting changes in the outside world throw you off. We need to learn how to keep our cool and accept what we don't know. Caught in a wave of worry and fear, remember that in quiet, we not only find peace and learn how strong we are when there is doubt. Silence is an important part of living a real life. It helps us find hope and independence, and it keeps our souls in a, a calm and wise state where the Stoic theory is followed. Being quiet when you don't know what to do is not just a way of life. Use silence to find out who you are and show how strong you are. Lead us through all of life's trials and storms when we listen to the voice of we learn the most about ourselves and the world around us when we are quiet. Based on Stoic thought, these are ten situations that can happen on the path to developing the mind, which we should pick mutes to really understand the value of constraint this is not only a lesson in how to be mature, but also the key to opening the every time we stay, it opens a door to spiritual freedom and inner peace. We not only protect ourselves from hasty words when we stay quiet in tough situations, but also help them become patient, smart and kind. In this way, Mutus turns into a strong tool that helps us get closer to and smarter and more humane ways to solve problems, but so that this journey, not in the end, not only stops at one person but also spreads to the whole community. I urge you to join me. Please leave your mark by liking and sharing so that we can build a strong community. A community where love and knowledge are always please leave a comment to let us know what you think and what you learned. If the subject you're most interested in is joined to the so you don't miss any important lessons about life and the way of following the stoic concept of cultivating the mind, we will make a, a world that is bigger, better and more important.